Faith can move mountain. Radio Maria 91.3 FM. The voice of truth. Hi everyone out there. Oh, another lovely day, another lovely Wednesday. How have you been? I hope you rested well this holiday. Oh, it's good to have you again on this show. Well, this is Life Essential Talk Show, your favorite talk show on Radio Maria 91.3 FM, a program where we talk about life, everything about life, everything possible about life, wonderful issues, great issues, negative issues, everything about life. We talk about it on Life Essential Talk Show. Well, I remain your host, Suche Chukuma. And I'm here to give you another tantalizing presentation. <laughs> well, on Monday was good. We had a good topic and uh, we had an engaging guest. Uh, we talked about um, a very interesting topic. And today won't be different from Monday. We also have a very interesting topic today with an engaging guest that will tell us all we need to know. Well, the topic is social media influence on youth social media influence on youth well i won't tell you who the guest is till we return after this short break don't go anywhere okay dear listeners welcome back to radio maria 91.3 fm the voice of truth well it's time to introduce our guests and our guest is no other person but Mr. Martin Echeku. Mr. Martin is a management consultant and also a youth advocate. He will tell us all we need to know about social media influence on the youth. Mr. Martin, it's good to have you once again on the show. Yeah. Thank you very much. Good to have you too. Yeah, though it's been long. It's yeah. been long you came here. <laughs> All right. So without wasting much time, let's look at this. Um, I'll call it um, exciting topic and also sensitive. Uh, what is social media? Well, what do we refer to as social media? Okay. Um, I think that, uh, you know, that word social media it's it's generic for everybody right now it's yes. something everybody is used to saying exactly is used to using so you know there's no need um breaking the bank for a very big definition <laughs> <laughs> we can just speak to it in simple terms you know social media is just um a platform so for social networking okay that's just what it is like right. a platform for social networking where you can reach out to people reach out to your audience your friends you connect with colleagues oh. um professional colleagues and all that and it did back it dates back to to as far as the 1950s okay you know although not called social media then uh -huh. but this means of people trying to connect didn't okay. start now but that's what that's what the whole essence of social media okay. you know even before the the pre-internet days mm. um in the 1950s there's, there was what was called um phone freaking in the united states okay you know where <clears throat> people try to cut away from um the the main phone lines to have these virtual conferences that was how social media started Okay. Yeah. So if you do researches, they will tell you, oh, there might not have been internet then, but people have been socially networking. Right. Okay. You understand? So, so phone freaking, you know, back in the days, you know, web virtual conferences. Then after then, I think in the early 1970s, mm. um, there was a platform called the Usernet. Okay. Yeah, where people could share know ideas pictures videos on a peculiar group it wasn't on the internet now you know the internet space makes it available to everybody now yes. like you you mm. can share something everybody has has access to it it wasn't like that those days then, you know? okay. then the internet world came in and we now have 
websites, you now have web apps, you now have software applications and all. And I would say the advent of um, the new uh, messaging apps like the WhatsApp, uh, you have um, Telegram and <clears throat> another social networking yes. application like okay. Facebook, um, Instagram and all, has brought social interaction to our fingertips. It's no longer, we don't have to go far to look for it. It's not oh, here with it's us. It's not here with you us, know? exactly. So that so social media is basically means where we can social network, we can interact, we can share ideas, we can we can air our curiosities, we can air our, our um, ideologies, and mm. people can buy into them. Because there is this thing that is peculiar to the social space, the, 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 the magnitude of your audience. Which that's one of the peculiarity of so the, the social media. The okay. social space is large, so you have a lot, a lot of people who can be listening to you. You can learn from a lot of people. You can connect to a lot of people. So that's what social media basically is. It's all about. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Wow, you made it sound so interesting, so exciting. Well, can we say is it influential? Yes. Uh, it will be. It would be my pick for me to say social media has been influential. I would say many of us youths uh, uh, are really, really influenced by social media. Okay, so it is influential. It is. It okay. is very influential. You know the the definition you gave me now made it look so good, <laughs> as if there is no, there can't be anything negative about it. There well, can't be anything negative about it. Well. Um, <laughs> There is nothing that has positives exactly. that does not have uh, its own negatives. A negative so that's why there are always pros and cons. <laughs> yes. Uh, but yeah. you made it sound as if it's too good. Well, it's good. It's, it's very good. Well, it's supposed to be too good. <laughs> In the real sense. Yes. It's supposed to be yes, too, I think too you're, good. Yes, I think you're right. It's yeah. supposed to be too, 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 too good. good. In the real sense. Uh, but I think, um, anyway, we'll get to that. Because so, you can imagine um, some years ago uh, where I have to pay... Uh, I have to break the bank to reach out to somebody in the United States. Okay. You know? But today, in the comfort of my house, I can, somebody in the United States can know what's happening within my environment. Yes. I can just take a snapshot and send to him. Can even yeah. see you. You, you understand? Can even see you. So, it's, 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 it's actually, it can be so, so good if we use it well. <laughs> mm, <all> right. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so, it's influential. Yes, it is. So, let's look at, like, just like you said, everything that has positive aspects, there's always negative. Yeah. So let's look at the positivity. Let's look at the positives of this social um, media. Mm -hmm. That is the positive influence of social media on youth. Um, there are lots, you know, lots, lots of positives. Don't, don't worry, don't look at mm -hmm. the time. Just continue. <laughs> <laughs> there, are lots, there are lots of positives, actually. All right. Um, uh, on social media, mm -hmm. lots of positives. But for me, I would just like to categorize them into three aspects. You know, okay. if we want to explore the positives, the we positives. might not live here. You might not live here. <laughs> I, I can <laughs> see that was why you looked at your watch. You know? <laughs> so uh, I'll just like to categorize them into three. All and right, fine. The first one I'll talk about is the aspect of social networking. Okay. Um, then the second is um, the educational, informational, and entertaining aspects, okay. what I call the, edu the edu infotainment um, aspect of social media. Mm. Then the last part is uh, the commercial aspect mm. of social media. Mm. Social media is a huge market. Hey. If you know how, how to, to use, use it. it. Yes, how it's to a, use it's it. It's a huge market if mm. you know how to use it. So, okay, let me, let me itemize and pick one after the other. Yes. Networking. Mm. Uh, as we said earlier, um, communication, social interaction has been made so, so simple. It wasn't like that back in the days. You, you know, those days when my dad and he's telling me how they used to write letters to their <laughs> uncle to, to get school fees. You know, but today you can sit in the comfort of your house and just, Daddy, uh, I don't have school fees. <laughs> you know, yeah. and he, he responds to you mm -hmm. that easy. You know, 
somebody is in us who wants to see what's happening here you can just take a snapshot of whatever is happening and send it to him it has it is is in the picture yeah even though it's far away mm. you know so there are lots lot there are social there are communities there are, there are what i call um uh, discussion sites or community sites where you can build a community of like minds of professionals like linkedin mm. you know it's a place where you can meet professional colleagues you can share ideas share into, you can interact there's cora for example where you can ask questions. You can ask questions, yes. It's just um, uh, uh, a software uh, app where you just come to get answers. Exactly. There are, there are people there that are experts in different, different areas. Different areas. So you can just, I could remember when I was in school then, as a young um, civil engineering undergraduate uh -huh. then, you know, we taught something, you know, I think it was on strength of concrete or something, very enthusiastic. I just went to Kura. Pa, 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 dropped it there and an indian guy was the guy that answered it mm. you can see how easy life is you know with social media, media. and, I, and yeah. I talked about okay there are platform like medium okay reddit where people come to build communities to advance a, a particular cause you know if probably at uh, you are a, an OAP now, you can have a community of OAPs and you guys share ideas on how to improve your profession. Okay. Yeah, they are there like that. You know, I sp I've talked about LinkedIn. I've talked about, I've talked about um, social networking sites like Facebook, yeah. Instagram, and mm -hmm. all that, where you can share share your ideas and all that. You can just um, entertain yourself at all. So yeah. you can see it's it's huge, and because of the because of the uh, the magnitude of the, the, the population on that okay. space, naturally we have about 4.6 billion by statistics okay. of people that are on social media. You wow. can see the audience you have. Wow. So you, it's, it's a place where you can advance your course, mm. your ideology. Like mm. a girl, there's a girl, a Pakistani girl, okay. uh, popularly called Malala. Her name is Malala. I think he used Savsai if i pronounce it well okay you know <laughs> but her popular name is malala she won a nobel prize okay. for peace in 2014 yeah, yes you know oh. and what did she do advocacy for for uh female education in pakistan at the time and it was her course was advanced with social media yes social media was a big 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 tool for her you know so you see that social media if used well can help in social networking and social interaction um, and all of that. So okay. the next um, item I would like to speak on is the educational, aspect, the informational okay. and the entertaining aspect. Oh. Of course, you and I will agree that uh, <laughs> if you want to kill boredom, <laughs> <laughs> just, go there. just go to social media. <laughs> you are free. It's, 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 it's a place where you get you get to laugh for free. True. You know? <laughs> you know, with this with the advent of skits, mm -hmm. you know, short video clips and all that. And interesting can, ones, really. Interesting ones. Interesting that ones. could actually be educational. Edu too. Exactly. That you could know, so, tell you one or two things. You know, mm. So in terms of entertainment, I would tell you that um with the with the state of Nigeria now, we have to actually be on social media. <laughs> <laughs> Because we need to laugh sometimes, <laughs> you know. So it has been a way we get and our entertainment mm. really, entertainment. It has redefined the entertainment industry. Yes. Uh, before now, we used to watch movies. Mm. You know, you go for comedy shows. Although those things are still there. Are still there. You know? Yes. But today you can just there are a lot of comedy skits makers you know comedians who don't who don't have to be stand-up comedians mm -mm. who are just skit makers and they are doing well for themselves they so, are using the horrible things happening in the country to, to educate to and <laughs> inform us then in terms of information i think we get more than 50 percent of our information on social media yeah you, you know twitter how many how many of us listen to watch the news news right listen now. to radios and and uh, read the papers. You want to know what's happening? Okay, what's happening on Twitter? What's happening on the Twitter space? 
And you get, and you get everything. Yes. So whatever information. It can be so informational. And there are people, you know, who have a large audience mm. on this place who, who can help to inform the audience. Yes. In a lot of ways. Mm. So you can get so much. Twitter is there, you know, Facebook is there. Then when I'm educational aspect, that's where I'm going to because mm. very important. Yes. If I can tell you categorically that there's almost nothing you can learn on YouTube. True. There's almost nothing, nothing. you can learn. Whatever on you YouTube. want, just go there. You'll just see. Go to it. YouTube. There's somebody that have done something really, and it is easy to transfer knowledge now. Just make a video and send and upload. And somebody you see somebody in India making a video on Python mm. uh, as a programming language, for example. And me in Nigeria just with the, in the comfort of my home, mm. my laptop, my phone, I can assess it. I can replicate what he has done. True. Without having to take the pain of going to classes or things. So you can see that. Having to pay so much. Understand. So it's it's huge. It's a huge, huge, huge tool if used well. Yeah. Educationally, it's huge. You know, I've talked about um, um, Kura, for example. Yes. It's a it's it's an educational forum too. Where you can where you can be schooled on so many things. All you need to do is just ask questions, you know. So, educationally, social media is actually also huge. Okay. Then, the I will call uh, you know my people will say the biggest mas masquerade comes last. Hey, I've been <laughs> waiting for that one. If it gets itching to hear that part, the biggest masquerade <laughs> comes last. That's the the money aspect part mm. of social media. Yes, so marketing. Yes. I will tell you, social media redefined commerce. It redefined um, the commercial space of the world. Yeah. Uh, no, before, 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 <laughs> you know, <laughs> before, 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 you know, those days. Yes. So, how do we, how do we um, buy and sell? Mm. You know, it is it is native for us to have. Uh, maybe you have to rent a shop, have to rent a space, you know, then you have to stock it, then you have to start telling people, oh, I sell shoe. My <laughs> shop is in number so, 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 so. Where, where is this street? Eh? What, what is this street? <laughs> maybe you know, just say, just say you know? anything. <laughs> then you start moving from house to house. You first tell your friends, you mm -hmm. tell your mm -hmm. neighbors, you, you know, you tell everybody. Mm. And in all, you cannot even account for you account for just few people because yeah. that's how much how how much you can reach. But today you can be in the comfort of your house and and sell to I told you statistics is four point six billion on social media. That's the audience you yes. have. So you, you can be in the comfort of your house and sell to as many as you like. There's a there's um there's a lady in the United States, mm. Kyla I think Kyla Jennifer, one of the Kardashian sisters. Okay. Oh, you know, she was a model and all. She started a cosmetic, um, a cosmetic industry. And when, and in one of her, in the interviews, when she was asked, does she, does she have um, an um, on ground shop? Okay. She said, no, I only advertise on social media. You see? Like, no, she does not have to build one office space or this. Work from home. And at some, at some point, she became a billionaire. Yeah. Dollars. You know, that's how much. You know, it's in fact social media re it rejuvenated advertising, you know. It 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 advanced what I what I what I call targeted advertising. You know, then you just advertise to any you okay, people make sign posts okay. to advertise their product. Now with social media, you can you can you can advertise to your target audience. Um there's what I call or what is popularly called social media marketing. You know, where, where some of these um, social media apps have inbuilt analytical tools okay. which monitor your, your behavior on the app. Like, if I want to know what you are doing, uh, the kind of pages you visit, with the, the, anal where, yes. the analytical tool will mm. tell you. So, for example, you now, oh, probably if you like Gucci bags, mm. I could know. Yes. If you like... so. 
it's it's so huge there's a lot you it's know, true. That is why anytime you search for something, you keep on seeing other you see ads. Ads. You start wondering you when did no, they know that you know you see ads and mm. you you keep wondering how do oh, I Oh yes. Get this ad? When did you why tell is, them that <laughs> why is this ad popping up? It's true. On my phone. Because they know, you know that you searched for for something for something similar. So, similar. This are uh, analytical tools help us. Help marketers mm. to you know to target their audience. Yes. Not just you know just blind you know you are shooting blindly now. You you, you shoot your target audience. You speak to your target audience and let them know. And it helps us to you know it's now it, it, it it's no more um that uh that time where you have to you have to catalog your goods in your shop mm. and all that and. I have to only see it when I'm in your shop. Mm. Now it's a means of of cataloging to 4.6 billion people. Yeah. So you can just, if I sell bags, I can just snap my bag and just put it put it online. You can imagine if we are people who responding to it. So that's how much you know social media can be used yeah. today. Oh, thank you, Mr. Martin, for for giving us this idea for giving us all this well let's take a musical break and when we return shortly we shall continue with social media influence on youth don't go anywhere oh hi listeners welcome back to radio maria night 1.3 fm the voice of truth well we are still on life essential talk talking about social media influence on youth and we have mr martin echeku telling us a whole lot well we have talked about the positives <laughs> mr martin echeku and just like your introduction you have made it look so seamless the positives looking so wonderful as if there's no negative well now we're getting to the bad part tell us the negatives how it influences our youth negatively. Okay. Um, thank you. Once again, thank you very much for having me. Um, yes. For every thing that has some the positive side, there must also be the negative mm. side. Well, uh, the negative aspect of social media today is actually now seen <laughs> as the only aspect. <laughs> I'm telling it's you, it's actually now seen. It's so overwhelming. Yeah, it's actually now seen like the only aspect which I think is not supposed to be. To be. But you know, um, <laughs> it is the bad that advances more. Yeah. People don't see it because um, they will say bad news nine day, mm. nine day quick. No, I'm go telling far. you, go far. Yeah, the one way good, not mm -mm. the people. You know, but honestly. There are some actual, uh, actually negative aspects of social media yeah. Yeah, that can be so, 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 so dangerous to society yes. if not checked, mm. you know. And that's why even though I don't support it, some countries have come out with legislations to to curb um, the use of social media. Okay. Although I don't support it, but that's a story. That's a discussion <laughs> for another day. All right. Yeah. But one of the uh, negatives, I would say, is, is a major source of distraction. Um, statistics say that for everybody in social media, we spend um, an average of 150 minutes every day. 150 minutes? Yeah, that's two and a half hours every, every day. day on social media, averagely. <laughs> you know, you can do the mathematics in, in 24 hours if two and a half hours is spent on social media, then it has to be something worth it then the question is what are you doing there but you will agree with me that most of the time we have um, embraced the entertaining aspect of um social media True. for god um forgetting the other aspects of it you know that and many of us are the educative just, um, yeah, aspect of it informative aspect of it, you know, it has been jettisoned and most of the time we are there for uh, our own personal aggrandizement just to entertain ourselves and feel True. happy. Yes. So it can really be a source of distraction. You go to some offices today and 
some people instead of working they're on their phones it can be that bad it can be that bad yeah, it can be that bad some people queried for the use of phones you know so it's in fact anytime you see most people now they are always on their phones you know, husband and wife no more discourse you know, you know, they are always on their phone they don't discuss any longer you understand the husband is sitting at one corner the wife at another pressing and and you just you just brought me to my second point it has taken away to that natural um um connection of conversation we used people used to have yes you know you, you just talked about oh. i'm not married so I, don't, <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know how but really it's a what i mean it also comes into the to distraction yes. you know people don't longer communicate when i mean communicate communicate, uh, communicate you know, properly. talk about things talk about you know things. everybody's on their phone on their phone. Busy, busy doing almost nothing you know so that's a very very big uh, negative of social media you know people don't you can some people can stay there was a time i i'm even guilty there was mm. a time my elder sister was was you know called me i was like you don't longer call me it is almost three months and you've not called me you stuff see? like that i'm like oh so i'm so sorry which was not like that you know i could just say oh i'll check her status mm. i'll message her mm. that that's how it is now so it's so bad it's a major um source of distraction it is true us. because i can even i i can relate with that mm -hmm. i but i had my young i even said that to my younger sister uh, last time i said you don't you don't you don't say hi to me any longer she said ah sister that's what she calls me don't i see you on social media i say is that is that communication yeah. is that uh, is that how it's supposed to be yeah uh, well it, but i like just like you said is it, it shouldn't be like this yes, yes. well that is how it is yeah. right now yeah so well um, to my next point i would say it's as much as it's a source of of information it can also be a source of untrue okay just and just hold on to your thoughts let's okay. let's open the phone line okay. well dear listeners to call us please um you can call us on 081 084 call us on 081 084 you can send sms or send your messages via whatsapp we would love to hear from you please call us all right so let's continue all right so as i was saying um as much as a source of productive information mm. it can also be a source of untrue information corrupt information too you know <clears throat> today because of the ease of communicating on social media anybody can just say anything unverified um, information information that's one of the things Niger the nigerian government is trying to fight now even though i have my reservations on that but sometimes it can be that bad you know, yes people just instigating come, instigating ethno religious exactly instigating violence, violence you know trying trying to um vilify somebody you know because you can hide and you can hide your identity so you can just say anything and 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 go scot, scot free and go scot free yeah. you see it moving on, moving on before on. you know it is everywhere it's everywhere, it's everywhere. Know, because mm. unlike the traditional media print media where you have to there, there will be an editor that edits whatever you are going to write if you're going to post on uh you're going to have um, a space on a newspaper there will be a, an editor there will a edit. chief editor yes before you you know before the information is sent out to the public so that just to be sure that okay this is correct we have verified and a good number of what is here is true but on social media i can just wake up in the morning I'm and say whatever you. i, I like, say whatever um and send and it has an effect on the party reading it the other party reading it so these are uh, some of the issues with social media so if not used properly it's it can be um a weapon for people to 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 send to to uh, share on true information mm -hmm. and, and it's not used properly people yeah. are using it to share on true um, information yeah. 
Then um, I'll speak on the, which, which is very important, uh, this part is very important, uh, the mental and psychological uh, aspect, mm. you know, it's a major source of mental and psychological instability. And, yeah. You know, this, this uh, rave of social media validation, this, um, this, this appraiser that people want to get on social on media. On social media. It's, it can be derogatory sometimes, you know. Many you want to have, have one million likes. Understand. Many people have become depressed. Because of? Because of, oh, look at this girl. Um, she's on social media. She, she dresses cool. Um, look at me. I'm, I'm, I'm even older than her. Look, I'm not doing well for myself and stuff like that. And, you know, people don't... They have um, failed to to draw a thin line between the elusive actions on social media and the reality. And the life, reality, you know, and it can be um, it can be so so disheartening. I had a friend of mine who, just, who said uh, his friend committed suicide. Yes, because um, and what was the reason? No social media validation. She had no uh, he had no audience, you know, stuff like that and. Come on, why would you commit suicide? Because, because of that. For, you know? Looking for validation from are, people that you don't even know. You understand? This is a um, uh, rave of fake life amongst us now. You know, it's, it's, it's not a common, it's not a recurring testimony now. When you hear fake life, it's rich on social media, it's poor on the outside. You know? These are the things that, these are the illusions that uh, we get fed with on social media. And people are buying into it. True, and people tend to forget that what is shown on face on face. Okay, let me say social media, like Facebook or Instagram, yeah. is what they want you to see. Do you understand? It's what they want you to see, so, which might not even be real. You understand? That's the illusion, you know. Um, and people people abuse that a lot. People abuse that a lot. They've sold illusions to the younger guys. No, I just. Even the older ones who are still there who really don't know their left from their right, they're buying into these illusions. And a lot is happening. There are, there's undue, um, unhealthy competitions amongst the youth today. The youths are no longer um, focused. Yeah. You know, they, they feel oppressed. They feel depressed because of what they see. On what they see, exactly. You know, on social media. And uh, for me, I would say, it depends on you. It depends on you. We just have to get the basics right. You know, what are the basic principles that guide your life? We need to ask our, well, as youth, we need to ask ourselves that. You know, you shouldn't be intrigued by what you, what if it's uh, motivating to you, fine. But it shouldn't be. It should not be depressing to you. It can motivate you, but not. Don't let it weigh you down. So you don't just see somebody and somebody because someone posts. Um, a fine picture or if oh this guy is a big boy and He's I used a to big know boy, him. yes. And <laughs> look know? at me. You and know? look at me. Just okay. keep doing the right things. Now you will get, there. get there. You will get there. Get it there. might take time, take but time, you but will get, you get there. there. Well, all right. So just like yeah. you said, yeah. Mm. yeah. So um then there's another aspect that is that is really really that we need to you know speak on. Mm. Which is cyberbullying. Ah, true. Cyberbullying. Um, that can be horrible. It can really be. And it happens. It can really be. People, you know, people sexually harassed on social media. And, you know, you, you especially the ladies, my apologies to the ladies, they are at the receiving end of this. Hmm. A lot of them are, have been cyberbullied. You know, and it's. These are the, um, I would say, the freedom social media gives us, mm. which can be, which can be negative, you know, in this aspect because True. somebody comes online and vilify you. There was, there was a case of a guy who who made a parody account of the then president, good luck Jonathan, you know, and makes it makes it jokes with. Use the account to make a joke about his wife and all that. You can imagine how painful, oh, exactly. you know. Yeah. Even it was funny to us, but it's look at it. You have to consider mm. the receiving party. Yes, it was at some point the guy got arrested and uh, we, we, it was pleaded for and it was released, you know. But 
these things, these are things that happen on a daily basis. Basis, I'm telling people, you. People cyberbully, people harassed on social media. You no, know, there is no. Although it's self-regulating, but there are some. There's there is a very large amount of freedom that have been accorded us on social media. So a lot of people tend to abuse it, if not curtailed. Yeah. You know. So it happened on Twitter, on Facebook. Yeah. Facebook, I even know of a girl that committed suicide. Yeah. Because of um, this cyber bullying, yeah. she was cyber bullied. <laughs> she was. She had to commit you know, suicide. There was. There was. There was an incident about a, a girl in the US who posted a picture and she was called a pig although she was fat and all that but she was caught so much names on that she had to she needed therapy at, at last you know and these are things that that can happen in the social media space if not um, used properly so um, I mean I mean uh, amongst that uh, we have um, identity theft privacy issues mm -hmm. you know you know because uh, the social media is a place where uh, to use it you have to impute your information you know your name your identity and if not uh, properly managed can fall into the hands of the bad guys you know till so today one of the problems um, Mark Zuckerberg has in the US is because of uh, the privacy of users on Facebook that, mm -hmm. that was an issue at some point. So it was alleged that he, you know, he leaked or he sold uh, people's information, you know, at some point. So till today, you know, there's always that uh, that that thought about him in the United States. Whenever he appears before Congress or before the Senate, they mm -hmm. always bring that up. So. If not properly managed, it's a place where um, your your privacy is not guaranteed. So yes. you have to watch it. You have to. Watch. Although there are there are some inbuilt um, tools now that can help you protect yourself, mm -hmm. but it's not enough. It's just one of the cones okay. of social media. Thank you. Okay. And what about the stalking? <laughs> what about the the I okay? I've had we have had cases whereby um, someone will change his. Um, his name um use a young age maybe the person is about for something and we have had i've had a case like this he the guy was 45 but he made he brought it low made him made himself younger just to get a babe <laughs> just to get a babe and and the and he got the babe anyway but it it ended tragically because he later got obsessed with the girl and uh, traveled to the girl's place. The girl refused. He killed her, killed himself, truly. Whoa. You know, you, you can, you see how bad it can, it can be. And you know, our ladies, our guys, they can, like my daughter said to me that there's, there's this anonymous, um, uh, how will I put it now? Um, is a chatting that she has been getting okay. and when she looked at the profile she didn't see anything i think um there was no picture there but the person kept on chatting her up do you know what i told her i said just be very careful because that person the person was kind of uh, chatting as if it's a guy but i say he it it might he might not be it might be a girl you know so you can see that well, kind of uh uh, ways the ways people use social media to to do a lot of nonsense that shouldn't be there well, well um those are part of the illusions uh, mm. we talked about mm. earlier you know um people tend to you know sell to the audience what they want them to mm. see mm. so it's it's now the the onus is now on us for for us to to filter you know, and pass the grain, and we and 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 and, and um, blow up the shaft. So you have to, as a as a person, you have to be able to understand and know that okay, I'm supposed to be realistic. Yeah, but it it doesn't happen that way. Yeah. That's why the topic today is social media influence on youth. 
our youth get carried away yeah, with they, all these stuff well yeah they do you, know, you see the 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 for the youths what i would say is first of all you have to um get your priorities right first it's before we before we um blame the influence of social media you have to blame the you have to first of all call the youth in question to order you know? okay you see it has to do with people have exploited the pros of social media mm. and made something good good with it for themselves yes. so it depends on the person is the person in question what is his character formation is this somebody that can be that can be swindled, uh, swindled on with the illusion somebody said but, but you know it can happen our youths can it be gullible it, it, it does happen that's very why vulnerable we have to we have to sit up as youths and and start building our life you know characteristically you know building character building principles you understand it's not just oh you spend all the time on social media doing nothing then what do you want to make out of there you know, these are questions we have to ask ourselves. It's, in, it's not enough for us to say um, a lot is happening on social media. Uh, people are swindling people. People are, you know, selling illusions to us. But you bought into it, so you should be blamed too. So we should learn to to um, weed the sheep from the goat and choose wisely. Choose who to, who to. There are a lot of um, people on social media who with a lot of audience you should be able to understand who you should listen to yes who you shouldn't listen to exactly the right of choice has never been taken away from us so we have to learn to choose and choose wisely uh -huh. you understand so that's that's how it is to me mm, and because you saw someone dancing naked you and have getting to... 100 million likes, likes no? because of that you feel that's it the right thing then I, you have to to dance naked, naked too, too for yeah. you to get so many likes so it, 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 it can be horrible it has it has to do it with can the, be horrible the principles guiding the person person's personality you know so can that you, means you have thrown away your principle you, just, because just because of money to just because of money so i think it's 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 personality now it's personality different although it can be influencing but it's personality mm -hmm. i i know that when your principles are right mm. you tend not to not to fall into into all the yes. all right so let's take a musical break to return shortly for more of this exciting talk don't touch that dial oh dear listeners welcome back to radio maria the voice of truth we're still on life essential talk discussing social media influence on youth with mr martin esheku all right, so Mr. Martin, we have talked about the positives, we have talked about the negatives. So let's look at the, um, let's look at ways our youths can be helped to use social media um, positively. Now we're going to take it to parents now. We are, this is one of the ways we are creating awareness yes. hmm, yeah. through Radio Maria. So now, how can parents, how can parents, because we should always bring in parents, how can parents, how do you think parents should help their wards to use social media positively? Okay, um, well. It, well, first of all, is it possible? Yes, Is it, it is. possible? Okay, yes, it so how can um, they? Mm. Well, yeah. basically, it will, it will be difficult to say they have to do this or that. Yes, you know, very, difficult, very difficult. Very difficult. See, there's no, there's no rule to it. Exactly. You know? But I would like to use um, the rule of the thumb, mm. uh, and I'd like to borrow from the word of God. They say, "Train your child in the way he should go." Okay. And when he gets old, he won't depart from it. You see, most of. Um, um, the adverse effect of social media we see today as, is as a result of um, poor training. You know, it's 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 um, foundational. It's not just something that comes out of the blues. It's foundational. Okay. Um, there have never been a time where there um, there were no um, platforms like this. I know during your time you had your own ways. Yes. 
thought of interacting <laughs> and your way something that could have found you the other way mm. you know mm. but you didn't you didn't you didn't give into it yes. so it has to do with the foundation parents have they have to learn to train their words well you know i i always say use the carrot and stick approach you know like your words do well you give them the carrot they don't don't um, hesitate to use the stick you know whenever necessary and for me i would say parents should learn to know their words like be friends with them i know this uh periods where usually in uh, urban cities where you see both parents working they don't really have time for their, for their kids. children they just yes. have a nanny somewhere <laughs> who a nanny can ins can instill basic um you know basic ideas basic um instructions mm. they can't they can't in fact they can't they truly they can't take the place of of, of a parent, of a parent. You know, cannot so cannot there are some parents that don't even know their kids true they don't i true i used to um know somebody who i visited a very religious very religious family and all that and the son the, the one of their son was um i i would try to be um you know careful now i don't want to reveal the identity you know but one of their sons, okay. you know smokes drinks okay i drink too a little mm -hmm. but smoke mm -hmm. you know is into hard drugs i'm like hey and the parents are pastors you know for me from uh you know um, from the outside a very mm. religious family mm. but the truth is that they never made time for this for these kids mm. they never knew mm. them and this um this uh, i'm not really a fan of uh this boarding house but at least even though you have to send your kids out to schools send them to schools where morals are taught mm. you know proper morals are taught not you know we are very we are very social uh we are very um exposed now even more than the westerners our <laughs> schools now you, you dare not touch it mm. you dare not do this you dare not you, do this you dare not you dare do arrested. that you, you can't scold a child yeah. anymore it's yeah. so bad it's so bad and these are these these are the things that propagate to what we now experience in society you know a child has been made to know that he can get away with whatever he does mm. when he when he was still very much young you are giving him the leeway, the leverage to capitalize on that when he's older, you know. And this uh, issue of you know you are rich, mm. you at um, at a very young age, mm. nine, eight, mm. a child is gifted an iPhone thirteen, <laughs> you know. These are things that we need to check need as to parents. Check, yes. It's not it's not proper. It's not proper. A child of eight, what is it? The, what is he or she doing with a phone? With a phone, yes. Not just a phone, a phone with internet and no restrictions. A smartphone. A smartphone. Yeah. And there are ways you can, um, there are parental, there are parental control you can um, activate. But many of how many parents do that? You know, trying to know what are my kids really doing? Mm. Trying to restrict them. They won't even them. bother themselves. You no, know, but we don't bother so ourselves think, sometimes. Okay, I have the money to do mm. it. You know, you can have the money, but you are buying your children um, failure. You are buying them um, a bad character. They, it will come back to to haunt mm. you. You know, so we have to watch it as parents too. So, for me, um, my closing thoughts on this would be: parents should learn to know their children and start teaching them the basic principles from a very, very young. Yeah. Um, I, I, and I bet you, um, they won't depart from. They that. won't. They won't. Oh, that's that's that's. What good. is your advice to youth? Okay. Uh, okay, that's my closing remarks. You mean? No. Did I say closing remarks? <laughs> Are you eager? <laughs> Just give me your advice. Okay. okay. <laughs> You're not closing anyone. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, well, well. My advice to the youth is. Okay. Um. There is a lot, there's a lot we can do with social media. Okay. Honestly, um, social media have been a means of transformation for a lot of people. 
financial transformation you know for a lot of people you know it has it has that, that there's a friend of mine I know that got his job trolling him I've me personally I've got some I've had some offers on LinkedIn although some I didn't do okay you understand? so oh, that's nice. it's it's a huge space it's a huge space if we know what we're doing if we know how to explore the positives mm. it's a huge space you know so my advice to you is let us explore the positives explore the positives let's the do that there are people there in fact there are courses you can take on digital marketing yeah. like that help you on how to monetize how to monetize um social the social media space mm. You know, search engine optimization, uh, search engine marketing, and all that, which is inter interwoven in social media. You know, there are things. There's a lot we can do with social media, a lot, and we shouldn't limit ourselves to WhatsApp, you know, hi, hey, hi, hi and hey, Instagram and pictures, Instagram. You know, dancing all the time. It's good if if done minimally. But, in, yeah, and properly. Yeah, but we can also we can do more with social media. You can see the uh, I'm not a politician, but you can see the OB movement. <laughs> you know, it's 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 one of the pros of of social media. Okay. You know, <laughs> advancing the cause, you know, of 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 a, of a good Nigeria. Yeah. You know, and okay. somebody, you know, I told you about Malala. Mm. Somebody who was able to a lady, okay. a young girl who was able to win a Nobel. Peace Prize yeah. at 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 a teenage age at a young age yeah what did she do social media so mm. it's it's really nice if used properly it can be in fact the advantages can be overwhelming. like you said it can transform your it life can, it can, it transform can your really, life can really, excellently yeah all right um mr martin echeku you have done so well you have told us a whole lot about social media influence on youth we don't have time on our hands any longer so we should um let me say we have come to the end of our program thank you so much mr martin echeku for giving us this talk thank you very much <laughs> Thank for, you for investing me. your time generously to be here to give us this talk thank you so much i'm sure you. our youths out there have been enlightened i've also learned something from this though i'm not a youth <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much for your time and to our listeners out there thank you for listening thank you for staying with us i hope you stay with us again next week monday and wednesday by 6 30 pm for another enlightening interesting exciting engaging talk from iuche i say goodbye